So this is Ashland Cemetery. You may have seen it in our promotional video that we released a few weeks back. But this is actually one of the locations listed in the National Registry of Historic Locations. And you can really see why. Like when you just look around and examine some of these tombstones, some of these headstones, just look at some of the artistry and craftsmanship that has gone into it, it's really astonishing. It was originally just like a small burial plot that the city of Ashland had been maintaining, but it was bought up in 1872 and converted into a much more serious kind of project. And it incorporated all the old headstones from the original burial plot. And one, some of those headstones actually go back to 1860. So this is a real piece of American history and it's amazing to be standing here. And you kind of wonder like what's in the air around here? Like what is, what could a place that's seen this much and is this ancient? What sort of secrets could it be hiding? All right, so I'm just gonna walk around the cemetery here for a little bit and take some digital photos. A lot of times when you take photos that you will get apparitions or spiritual orbs and whatnot that'll appear on them that you can't necessarily see with the naked eye. So we'll just see what we find, huh? Hi there, uh, Robbie, Equipment Manager for Southern Oregon Supernatural here. I was just walking this way with Jesse and Jimmy, and I happened to look up into the tree line right up here, and mm -hmm. I saw a really, really abnormal shape. Uh, it was an orb, but it was glowing orange with a yellow light on the front of it. But what happened is it started in the tree line right above my head, and only went about maybe 50 yards forward and it stopped and like burned out or something. There's no way it could have been an aircraft. It was literally just above the tree line. Uh, there's no way it could have been an RC unit of any kind. There's no noise or anything. So I'm speculating it was some sort of energy ball, if that. But it was just really weird. It was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen, but neither of them saw it. So you're just gonna have to go off my word. <laughs> yeah. Either way, we are now going to get an EVP session going to try to hopefully make Channel. contact with whatever it was. If it was paranormal in origin, maybe we'll be able to get some kind of vocal or just general sound response from it. All right, so we are currently about to do an EVP session, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon, out here in the Ashland Cemetery. And as we showed you before, Robbie, recently saw something strange in this night sky tonight so we're kind of hoping that maybe that energy or entity is still around and if it is we might be able to actually communicate with it so for an EVP session basic essentially what we're going to be doing is we're using a digital voice recorder and this is an area voice recorder so we should get input from all around us and we'll be asking questions and the voice recorder actually will record things record sounds and voices and whatnot that we potentially cannot hear ourselves. So hopefully we'll actually be able to pick up some kind of response. So um, what you normally do before you do an EVP session or an investigation somewhere is you kind of let people know you're here. And when I say people, I mean spirits or possible apparitions that are in the area. And um, I'm just going to give you an example of one, but I'm actually going to do it simultaneously. Normally you would say something like, um, we're your friends, we're not here to harm you in any way or to dig up any dark parts of anybody's past. We're just here as friendly people wanting to get to know somebody who can be here. And we do that fully out of respect. And so if there's anybody here in the area with us and you would like to join us, um, we're going to begin our EVP session. Um, just come to this white recorder in front of me and speak into it and that is how you can uh, communicate with us if you're here. All right, starting the recorder now.
All right, so if there's anyone here with us, could you make a sound? If you're here with us in this circle, could you make your presence known to us in some way? Was that you that made the glowing orb in the sky that my friend Robbie here saw? I would really like to know. Road noise and Jimmy sniffling. Road noise and Jimmy sniffling. and Jimmy sniffling. So this is the Mountain View Cemetery. It's the largest cemetery in Ashland. And it's not quite as, I guess, historically significant as the Ashland Cemetery is, but it's also, it's still very old. There's a lot of history here. And Robbie, you've actually had some experiences here. Would you like to share those with us? I have. Um, a few times when I've been inside the cemetery, in the further back reaches of the cemetery where we're going to be going here in a minute, um, I saw lights, unexplained lights, in the trees and in the distance that were floating kind of wavy through the trees as if something was walking with a flashlight or a lantern and there was nobody there. We made sure of it. And this was going to have been like car lights or headlights or no, anything? No, because there's no real road on the other side of this and it was floating through the trees. It wasn't, it wasn't like zooming past like a car would like this. So it was definitely something unexplained that I've experienced. I've also felt felt some anxiety in the cemetery as well as I had a friend that I was walking with that felt a hand on her shoulder. We don't know if that was actually a hand on her shoulder or what, but she felt some pressure on her shoulder and got freaked out and that was at the point where we had to leave the cemetery. So, All right, so we're just gonna ask the spirits in this place for a little bit of protect, for some protection as we investigate the cemetery. Um, so, so to anybody who's here, any spirits who might still be lingering here in the cemetery, we come in peace. We just want to learn a little bit more about you. We don't want to disrespect you in any, in any way. And if you could return the favor and provide, and provide for us as we're walking through this, walking through your home, we would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take another EVP session here in the Mountain View Cemetery. Again, this is supposed to be a more active cemetery. Robbie has seen a few things here, so we're about in the location that he says he saw the balls of light. So we are going to try and make contact with whatever he saw before. Okay, recording starting now. All right, if there's, if there's anyone here in the area, could you just come in closer? We would really like to talk with you. like us to know about you or possibly how you died something about that
interesting way of putting it on. They like oh, they re they. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, there was just a. Last chance, if anyone wants to make contact, please make a noise. Right here into this. Right here into this recording device here. So I just want to say on behalf of all of us here, thank you if you're out there for having us here and we ask you to please stay where you are and do not follow us back to where we live. Um, again, we wish you our deepest respects and we leave you in peace. Thank you very much.